Come on, Richard. And in, in Exodus, the Bible said that God began to instruct Moses to tell the children how to build a temple. Right. And when they built the temple, he also told them, said, listen, said there's going to be two places. Said there's got to be a veil put up, a curtain's got to be put up that uh, folks cannot go into the inner part into the Holy of Holies. Boy, I tell you what, and it was separated. But Jesus came and Hebrews said in chapter 10, verse 19 said, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord forever. I'm glad, man, I'll tell you what, when Jesus came, He therefore gave us boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By a what? A new and a living way which He hath consecrated for us through what? The veil that is to say His flesh. And having a high priest over the house of God. In 27th chapter of Matthew said in verse 50 said Jesus when he had cried again with a loud voice yielded up the ghost and behold the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom the earth did quake and the rocks rent praise the Lord forever I'm glad when Jesus give his life a ransom for our sins Boy, that petition was broken down. That veil was rent. You know what? That give me a privilege through the grace of and through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. I don't have to stand on the outside. But blessed be the name of the Lord. I can go into the throne room of God.
the holiest of holies. Praise the Lord. You ain't worthy. No, but the blood of Jesus Christ, God, son, cleanse me from all of my sins. But I got a high priest. Yes, sir. Huh? Still got a high priest. Still got a high priest. Come on, son. You go ahead. I'm out with you. Share. Share with us. The high priest lived a holy and separated life. Not everybody could go into the holiest of holies. If the high priest was to go into that place and there was but a spot of sin on him, yes, God's spirit would kill him. Yes. Yes. They tied a rope on him so that if he went in there, things weren't squared away. <laughs> had bells on him. <laughs> they would, yeah, he had bells on his vestments so they would still hear him move, but I hear him yeah, moving. He wasn't moving. God ain't wow. killed him yet. Yeah. If God did kill him, he had a rope tied around him, but they could pull him back out of there because anybody that went after him would have died too. <laughs> Come on, Zach. But when that veil was rent, it didn't do away with the high priest. We no, just, sir. We just got a better one. <laughs> See, the high priest at that time, because he had to be clean and he had to be spotless, didn't yeah. live like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. The priests of that time lived separated oh, lives. Oh, yeah. they, they didn't work. That was their full-time job. They yeah. weren't somebody that walked among the people no. and, 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 and lived like the rest of the people. But the writer of Hebrews goes on to say, can you find that? That we don't have a high priest that's unfamiliar with our conditions and unfamiliar with the ways that we have to live because this high priest, this better high priest, was tempted in all manners as we are. Yes. Amen. Said by a new and a living way which he had conscious. Well, I'm going to read verse 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest. How? By the blood of Jesus Christ, blessed be the name of the Lord, by a new and a living way which He hath consecrated for us through the veil that is to say His flesh. Finish it, Ronnie, while I call. <coughs> let, us, let us draw near with true heart and fullness assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from the evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for He is faithful that He promised. And let us consider one another, let us consider one another to provoke every <coughs> love to the good works, not forsaking the assembling ourselves together in the, yep. <coughs> together as manner of some is, but exhorting one another so much that more as you seen the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain, remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. But a certain fearful looking for the judgment, fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. For he for that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. How far you want me to go? Well, this is what I have Hebrews 4.15 says, For we have not a high priest, right. which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are yet without sin. There, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And we go on to read in the first book in the book of 1 John, John's first epistle, that high priest existed for one purpose, to be the messenger from the people to God. But Jesus, that better high priest, He's there making intercessions for us. Yes. He's there as our advocate before the Father. I didn't know what an advocate was for a long time, but then somebody told me it's just a lawyer. When we need somebody to represent us before God, right. He's there. Let's see. Well, I got that off my chest. Now I'm at church.